Multiple swimming advisories have gone out so far this summer for some peninsula beaches. It's because researchers found high bacteria levels in the water. During the summer months, the test beach water, they test the beach water often, and Casey Baylor explains why. It's a rather quick process. A small glass jar gets dipped into beach water, then the sample collected heads back to the lab. That water sample is then delivered to the city of Newport News Waterworks. This sample test helps environmental health officials look for bacteria called enterococci. And that's just an indicator bacteria that there may be fecal matter present in the water. Mary Wainwright, an environmental health manager for the Hampton and Peninsula Health Districts, says these tests are based on Virginia's beach action value. Wainwright says when the value is at or above 104, an advisory is issued and signs go up across the beach alerting beachgoers. Saying, hey, we could have fecal bacteria present in this water. It could cause recreational water illnesses. Several beaches, including Buckrow South, where I'm standing, gets tested on a weekly basis throughout the summer. That's because health officials expect to see more people out on the water. The summer season is big. People are getting out. The weather's nice and they want to swim in the water. Wayne Wright says the goal is to keep everyone safe. But if you choose to take a dive despite the warning, she says be cautious. Make sure that you don't have any cuts, open wounds or sores, that you're not immunocompromised. Uh, that would make you more susceptible to potentially an infection. In Hampton, I'm Casey Baylor for 13 News Now. Wainwright says rainfall and what flows from stormwater drains into the beaches can impact bacteria levels. Though advisories don't prohibit people from swimming in natural waters, it's not recommended.